Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. April showers bring May flowers. An easy way to find two cosmic blooms of spring. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Every April, I like to remind you of how you can have fun with the Big Dipper in early evening because it is positioned in such a way that it gives credence to a very old folk saying. Plus, it is so high above the horizon that it can be used to easily find two wonderful stars of spring. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for any night in April between the hours of 8 and 10 p.m. looking due north, where you will see the Big Dipper almost directly above and just to the right of the North Star. It's cup pointed down in such a way that if it were filled full of water, the water would be pouring out directly onto the ground below, which gives celestial credence to that old saying, April showers bring May flowers, because every April in early evening, the biggest water dipper in the heavens is indeed positioned so that it is pouring its imaginary cosmic water onto the Earth below. Plus, because it's so high above the horizon, it makes it very easy to use the three stars in the dipper's handle as a finder to locate two wonderful stars of spring, which are also blooming very high above the horizon. To find these celestial posies, simply draw an imaginary line through the handle of the Big Dipper, extend it in the same curve or arc as the handle, and as any good amateur astronomer will tell you, you will arc to Arcturus, which means that that curved line will bump right into Arcturus, the brightest star, Bootes the Herdsman. Then if you extend that curve on from Arcturus, you can quickly speed right on to Spica, the brightest star of Virgo, the Virgin, another lovely cosmic springtime bloom. Once again, using the handle and its curve, simply arc to Arcturus, pause for a few seconds, then speed on to Spica. What could be easier? And now that you've found them, you might like to know that these are super blooms compared to our own local star flower, the sun. Indeed, Spica is over five and a half times the size of our sun and is a much hotter star. So hot that it shines 5,000 times brighter. Arcturus, on the other hand, is a whopping 70 times the size of our sun, but because it is cooler, then Spica shines only 1,200 times as bright as our sun. Two pretty big cosmic blooms in our celestial spring garden, wouldn't you say? But equally fascinating is comparing their distances away from us. Our sun is so close that we see the light that left it only eight and a third minutes ago. So we say that our sun is eight and a third light minutes away. Arcturus, on the other hand, is 37 light years away, which means we see the light that left it 37 years ago in 1973, three years before America's bicentennial. Spica, however, is seven times farther away than Arcturus, 263 light years away, which means we see the light that left it 263 years ago in 1747. 29 years before the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Indeed, when we look at our sun, Arcturus, and Spica, we see them each not as they exist now, but as they existed sometime in the past, depending on their distance from us. Wow! So get the out between 8 and 10 p.m., find the Big Dipper, as it rains down cosmic April showers for earthly May flowers, then arc to Arcturus and speed on to Spica. Keep looking up!